an interesting program and what you learned or what, why it was useful? I love to learn about the different tides and the time of day. I had no idea there was two low tides, two high tides. And um, just learning about the, the sea life in the ocean, the, the snails and the... Um, the hermit crab. And the crab, the different types of crabs and their different shells and how they go from one to another. And yeah. God, I hadn't heard about that since probably second grade. And so this is a great refresher, if not new information. And how, is, how does this compare to other field trips you might have been on? The best. Absolutely best. Why so? Sensory, because we could feel it, we could smell it. Touch hear it. it. You can taste it, you can hear it. I mean, everything is there. We could even hear the foam coming off of the ocean water when it crashed into the sand today. It's like a pssst. Wow. When I heard the bubbles at, the, at uh, cottage number 22, I was just waiting for Don Ho to come out and sting <laughs> What did you think awesome. about combining oceanography with your sensory awareness class and your mobility class? I think that's a first ever. Perfect. It was perfect. It was challenging and great. Yes. You think it worked? Did we accomplish what and we set out to oh, yeah. do? Definitely. If I could have kept my dog out of the water, it would have been better. I, I have a picture of you and your dog running into the water. I'll send it to you. Oh, maybe God, we can that, that. So Glory would that's love cool. that. Yes, yes, scrapbook. <laughs> So you help. Thank you for helping us pilot a program that we hope to expand. And that is, you know, do you do you? Do, here's the real question. This is the real evaluation. Do you feel after going through this course more comfortable coming to Crystal Cove as an independent um, learner? Definitely. Yes. And to any beach. Yeah. And you know, what I specifically did you learn that helped you to become a more independent learner through this program? Uh, it felt safe. Because he told yeah. us to count the waves, yes. we we can now know if the if the water's going to be coming in fast, harsh, and if they're coming in fast, we know that the, the sand is going to be harder on our feet. Then if it's slow waves coming in, then that's the soft sand we'll feel on our feet. So do you feel safer as a result? Yeah, yeah. because yeah. we know what to expect. We know when there's high uh, tide and low tide. Yes. Yeah. When's the next time you expect to come down to Crystal Cove now? I'll stay here today. Oh, we're ready to... When, when are you coming back to Crystal Cove? Tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. We're staying. You come yeah. We're spending the night. So, <laughs> so you're not coming back tomorrow, you're just not leaving. Right. <laughs> well, Hawaii does, they do a reef teach in Hawaii, and this was a lot better than the one I took in Hawaii. Oh, why is, why they, is that? They just talked about the coral and how you could kill the coral, and, and over there it was more of a negative Thing, don't do this, don't do that. And here it was more of learn about what's out there, be adventurous, try to find different things. And that one that had that shell that had the worms in it. I never knew there were worms. I thought it was just from being knocked on the... So I think maybe we need to put you guys in wetsuits next time and, and maybe take you out past the way. What do you think about that? Yes. That's a summertime program, but we can do that. Yes. With, um, yes. Of course. But you know what? We've run blind, when I was at the Ocean Institute, we ran a number of programs to Catalina where I would take blind students snorkeling with me. Really? Do Why not? Do they make wetsuits for fat people like me? But, <laughs> no, you I'm just, curious. you do like me and wear a Makes Speedo. Really <laughs> you wear a Speedo, there you go. Know. <laughs> that would be an with insulated, <laughs> that would be an insulated Speedo, right, with the rhinestone. <laughs> but do they oh, really that's up my alley. <laughs> of course, yes, yes of course. Yes, there you go. Oh. But you know what, I could, I could ask a sighted friend of mine that's never been to Crystal Cove, and I can actually describe Crystal Cove now. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I'd be able to just, you know, tell them, yeah. feel the sand. I could actually um, replicate everything that you taught me today and bring them here, and they would have a different experience, obviously. But, you know, for me, it just filled me up. I mean, all my senses. All and to my find senses. Out so they built these places alive. without plumbing or electricity oh, yeah. or that's with yeah. shipwreck parts and wood from the, the shipwreck. I would have liked to have touched that a little more. I would okay. like to see the cottages you can yeah, rent. That's the only thing I, I would oh, like to have yeah. felt more of the 
historic type stuff. Too. Well, we'll have to write another course just for the history. Yeah. I we just ran out of time today. Uh, it was great. You guys did a great it was, job. It was just well, I know. Well, my was wonderful. Oh, where did the day go? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're so all beating.